Hi, this is a quick video to guide you to the best sources for finding scholarly articles on personal finance topics. For today's topic, I'm going to analyze the redemption behavior of gift card recipients. If you're like me, hoarding gift cards is a problem. I always put off spending them because I want to save them for a rainy day or I want to spend them on something special. Using a gift card to buy a bag of kitty litter just doesn't feel right. So let's see if I'm unique in this behavior and if there are any recommendations for overcoming my anxiety of spending gift cards. Since we know that we want scholarly articles, the first step in deciding which tool to use is to think about which disciplines care about my topic. We could explore the literature in economics since personal finance is a subset of economics. We could also search for literature in a business database because there are academics who study personal finance in that discipline as well. Since my topic is interested in personal behavior, I am curious if a psychology database could be useful since it's more likely to analyze why I feel compelled to thwart my financial well-being by hoarding gift cards. Finally, I could look into sociology because that discipline provides insight into general societal trends. So that might be a good place to start. We recommend the following databases for each discipline, PsychInfo for psychology, SOSindex for sociology, Econlet for economics, and Business Source Complete for or ABIM form for business. One benefit of using individual databases versus a large tool like the Discover Search tab on the library homepage is that it enables you to quickly see the degree of success your search is having without overwhelming you with results from multiple databases. I really thought that PsychInfo and SOS Index were going to be my best starting points for my search, but a quick search of each of these made it clear that Econlet and Business Source Complete are my best bets. So let's use the databases A to Z list on the library homepage. That's those yellow buttons on the bottom of um, just below the search box. And this will let you search for databases by title, by subject, or by type of database. Since I am looking for Econlet, I'm going to go ahead and click on the letter E. Oops. And let's do a quick demo of this. So here I am at our list of databases. I'm clicking on E. I'm locating Econlet. And it's providing me with a search box for entering my terms. I typically like to go to advanced search because it gives me two boxes and I can put my individual terms in there. So the top box, I'm going to do gift cards. And in the second box, I'm going to do use or spending. So when I search this, I get 18 results. And um, the first one is really on target for me. If I want more information about this, I can just go to page options, provide a more detailed view, put 50 results on a page to make it so that I don't have to keep clicking on different pages to get to results. And now I can read the description to see if this is right for me. And you can see that I searched for this recent previously and I did like it. So I marked this little folder and it added it up into my collection up here. So yeah, this search is great. It looks like I am not alone in my anxiety about using gift cards. Um, here's another one that talks about cognitive styles. So I'm on my way to accessing these sources um, and the PDFs of these are there. So um, that worked. I can definitely try that search in other databases, but let's go back and the final thing we can talk about is you could do a broad search in Discover and you can search all of those disciplines at once. I recommend that you click on advanced search if you're going to do this and then you can select the individual disciplines that you want and type in your search terms the same way that I just did it. In this database, I'd recommend putting quotation marks around the word gift card because it doesn't search for your keywords as a phrase. And then once you get your results, which, man, this is a lot of results, um, you want to probably go over here and click on also search within the full text of the articles. That's an expander. That's a default. That's what's happening. That's why I have 58,000 results. If I click on this X, it's going to make sure that my results are more focused and relevant to my keyword terms. So that's it. Um, if you need any more help, please let us know. You can set up an appointment with us or just email us. Have a great day.